Welcome back to the garage guys. So we thought we'd shoot a video today and give you some updates on this build, on this plant package. We started this journey two years ago and we came up with a plan to make a DIY plasma cutter. So the biggest question we get is can we still build this machine for under $350? So in today's video, we're going to answer that question. We'd also like to take a moment and uh, thank everyone who has built these machines and sent us pictures and videos. It's, it's unbelievably gratifying to see all these builds going on all over the world and people having a great amount of success with the plan that we've come up with. But also like you to stick around to the end of the video uh, for a quick update on where we're at with our THC and when we expect to release it. So if we take a look at what we came up with in the first video, and Jackson will put a link to it up here in the corner, uh, we came up with a price for the frame of 100, or excuse me, $291. Now that $291 included the price for the water pan. Water pan's $129. So we're just going to disregard that because the water pan is an option you can choose to add it. It's not needed for the machine. You don't have to have it. It is a nice option. Helps with cleanup. But so that brings us down to a frame price in the original video of $162. So if we take a look at it, the steel, when we built the original frame, the tube steel was $111. I called mid-December 2023 to get a price on a 24 stick piece of two by two tubing, the appropriate thickness to build the machine. And the steel is down to $74. So over a $37 reduction in price on the steel. We, we built this machine in the height of the pandemic and everything was, was inflated quite a bit. We also took a look at the filament. We've changed filament suppliers that we recommend and the filament to print your 3D parts was running about $30. Now it's running $22. Um, the bearings for the X carrier and the Y carriers, when we originally built the machine, they were running at $21 for the two and now you can get the two different sets for $22, so a slight increase. When we originally built the frame, we admitted we had omitted some items of some costs because it was some of it we just had laying around and we didn't pay a lot of attention to the nuts and bolts, but we um, didn't have any cost in that. So the bolts to build the frame will run about $20 with that. So, And the other thing we didn't add was the plates to bolt the machine together because we had that metal sitting around so we didn't actually add a cost to it but for the y connection plates you could figure ten dollars today and for the motor connection plates you could figure about five dollars for those if you're making those yourself so when we put the video together it was 262 dollars for the frame parts and in today's cost it's actually 153 dollars and we've included more items I'd like to say, take a second and talk about steel and how to buy steel. We've got a lot of people that are buying the steel and paying way more than they should be paying. And that's why we wanted to take a second and mention what the steel should cost. So you want to buy your steel from the largest steel supplier in your area. And you're going to look at me and say, I can't do that. They won't sell to me. Well, there's one little secret with all of these distribution places and manufacturers. They almost all have something called a city desk. Just call the distributor, ask for the city desk, and get a price on the steel you're looking for. Now, in almost all cases, you're going to have to take a full stick. And in our supplier, they stock the 2x2 two two in 20 foot or 24 foot. But you will have to take a full stick. Now, our place is nice enough to cut it in half when I go to pick it up, but I just don't. I don't tell them that when I buy it. It's when I come to pick it up, I just have the guys in the back cut it in half so they can load it in my pickup and I can take it home. So that's the way to buy steel. You need to buy full sticks. Now, for the metal plates, you're gonna have to do what you can and buy some surplus and you can get the cost down to maybe a dollar a pound. If you can do that, you're, you're costing it with quite cheap. The second thing are the bolts for the machine. The nuts and bolts for the machine should not be bought on a per piece price. You need to find a store 
that sells these things by weight. So you just fill up a bag with everything you need, they set it on the scale, and you pay on the way out the door. Everything in this machine can be built using a grade two bolt. You don't need a grade five, you don't need a grade eight. Now some of the screws, especially the metric screws, you're only gonna find them in a higher grade with the thread pitch, but um, those you might be stuck paying a per piece price. But for the bulk of the material, for the bulk of the hardware, you should be paying by the pound. And I would say a normal rate is going to be that $3 a pound or less for nuts and bolts to assemble this machine. So you guys need to make sure you're not spending a bunch of extra money on nuts and bolts. So in the second video of the build series, we go through and we cover the cost of the electronics in there. And in that video, we came up with a total cost of $140 for the electronics. So we'll take a look at the individual pieces and see how they come up today for costing. Jackson will link that video over here for the second build video. So for costing, for the Y motor, we had it at $30. Today, the current price is $38. For the X motor, the old pricing was $25. It's now $28. For the large driver, it went from $18 to $23. For the small driver, uh, relatively stayed the same, maybe went up $0.90. Cents. The power supply stayed the same at $30. The Arduino is still the same at $10. And the belts and pulleys did go up a little bit from $18 to $25. So... If we take a look at that, we've got an increase of $23 on the electronic items. So we had a decrease of $9 for the frame, and now we're up $23. So we've got a net increase of $14 over the past two years for all the components. I'd like to take a second and talk about the electronics. Now, our pricing is all based on getting it from Amazon. Just clicking on a link and getting it from Amazon. Uh, we've had several customers that have been able to cut this number down significantly uh, by 30, 40, 50% for the electronics by simply ordering them from AliExpress. So that is an option, but instead of having them in a couple days, you might be waiting two weeks or longer to get these things. But for the electronics, if you start the frame, you might have a little bit of time before you need the electronics to get it done, depending upon your work pace. Most of these components, well, all of the components uh, that we spec'd out in the electronic side of the build can be exchanged. There's no brand that's the same or that's needed. There's no special thing. A NEMA 23 with the correct torque value, any brand will work with the build. The, the same with the drivers. If you get the same, the same model number on the driver, it's made by various other various companies just get the same spec'd out driver and you'll be fine. So currently with the electronics and the frame, we're up to $316. We market this as a $350 build. You've got a few other items, you know, some miscellaneous nuts and bolts, some paint, maybe some hookup wire if you don't have it. There's some oddball things like that, you know, for another $34 we're giving room in this. So our, our costing of 350 is still right on track with an XY build. Now, we do offer options in the plans. Now, when we first came out with the plan package, this was an XY build only. We since have added options to the build plan. So you have the option of adding a Z axis, and the Z axis currently will cost about $50, $55 extra if you want to add the Z axis option. Um, we don't recommend adding the Z axis option to start we would much rather see everyone build a machine in XY, run it for a little bit, and then go back and add the Z. I would say, just personally, as a DYI project, as far as complexity, out of a one through five scale, our machine's of three. To build it, it's a three, and to run it and operate it, it'd be a three out of five in difficulty. If you add the Z axis, it rapidly becomes a four or a four and a half. So there's a lot more to it running the z-axis we think you should start with just the xy and that's why we give the dxf file uh, for the z-axis plate in the plan package because it's intended that you cut that out 
with your machine that you assemble. The other option we have is the rotary axis. And the rotary axis is basically made up of uh, some eighth inch metal and some, uh, some leftover bearings if you buy a big enough bearing kit. And then you need one additional motor to hook up to it and a drive belt. So there's very little cost, you know, for the rotary axis, about $30 if you want to add the rotary axis. So those are some options that we have added to it, our plant package. We, from a value standpoint, we started out this project with about 70, 70 pages of instructions uh, to get this thing going. Uh, I'm sure we're much over, a, or well over 100 pages of instructions now and details and tips and tricks. We also have added multiple videos, private videos inside the plan package that explain how to do things. And we also have a troubleshooting guide in there. Well, with that guys, I think we've shown that you can still build this machine uh, for right around $350. You can have a workable running machine for $350. So I'd like to thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. Uh, as promised, I said I'd give a slight up or a little update on our THC. We've had these out for testing now with some customers for several weeks. Uh, the, the THC itself runs fantastic and our customers have had very good luck with it. We've had one little bug that's slowing us down and uh, I don't want to get into it too much, but if you try to power the THC with uh, the same power source as the CNC, there can be some feedback through the ground and can cause some scrambling. So. Um, we've had a little trouble with our customers not following that instruction, so we decided to add some filtration to the THC and uh, to make sure it doesn't matter which power source it's hooked up. So that second step is being tested right now as we speak, and then we should be able to start manufacturing these and getting these uh, ready for sale in the near future. So I'd like to thank you all for staying to the end. Make sure to like and subscribe. What did we get for a price there? It was 28 for the motor. Um, no, but we went up $23, so that was... Plus 14. No, no, but... Well, I was going to go 23 on 140, so 163 plus 153. So that gave us 320. No, it gives you 316. No, oh... No. Yeah, One three. fifth three sixteen.